So you can see here we got some quartz, we got various iron sulfides, and here we have a chloritized schist. Look at the nice rich sulfides there. So this is iron pyrite right here. You have a little bit of chalcopyrite mixed in there, but it's nothing that's uh, substantial that would give you really good copper values. And what it looks like is all these schists here and the quartz there, you can see virtually barren quartz and you can see little stringers in between the foliations of your schists. So it looks like most of the mineralization is following your schistose rock and and then you have a secondary enrichment event which obviously mineralized some of the quartz as well and you can see the the different color of the the mineralization this is a lot more fine grained this is really coarse right here okay so we got some samples here So this is your, your schist with your sulfides in it. You can see how brittle it is. And if you take a look, here's another piece. You can see how it's formed in there. The grains go with the foliations of the schist. Another piece here. Again, super easy to break. And when we tested these, we tested initially the quartz, and the quartz has actually got less value than your actual schists with your sulfides in it.